Done pretty well out of region too. I think didn't he get like 17th or 13th at CEO uh, 2017? Dreamland, CEO Dreamland. Oh, CEO Dreamland. Yeah, yeah I don't remember if he got 17th or 33rd, but yeah, he was definitely like in the upper parts of that bracket. And even though like he does, he did well at that, but his other out of state performances are definitely way below his level, unfortunately. Like I remember at Evo 2017, um, I think he got either 65th or 129th. Ah, and uh, recently at Frostbite, he didn't do that hot. So, like, we all know what ZD is capable of. Like, if you watch the stream every week, you know that ZD is capable of a lot of great things. But, you know, some days, some days he's hot, some days he's not. But let's see what day it is today, because uh, Dexter and a lot of elements looking very crispy. His less trapping has been the best, but his neutral has been, you know, as great as always. But let's see how ZD's been playing. All right, thus far, pretty even game. Sort of trying to go back and forth with this ledge trap game. All right, immediately goes back to neutral. Now Dexter has the control. Nice down tilt. And I always use that as a metric of how well Dexter is playing the Fox matchup today. It's like, how many times does he intercept side B with down tilt? Because when he's playing well, Fox literally can't grab the ledge again. He will down tilt. He will jab to down smash you. Right. And that's how you know Dexter's playing hot that day. That should be, should be a sock. Yeah, that's it. And so far, Dexter seems to be playing very comfortably, not really getting flustered by um, anything. Let's see what ZD can do to uh, make this comeback happen so far. Ooh, goes above the ledge, but fortunately does not die for it. All right, retreat to the platform for just a second. Recompose himself. Gets 1% off of the first hit of Dancing Blade, doesn't confirm to anything else. Uh, Dex ZD does not get his... Uh, conversion into the up smash. Nice tomahawk, but not getting anything off of it. Down to or down air, getting the untechable spin, but Dexter was way too high for any sort of conversion. Yep. I like how he tried to um, bait that down smash to shield poke, but not getting anything off that and getting a lot of damage. Dexter is just making the snowball even bigger and bigger as it rolls down the hill. All right, was going for the jab to Dancing Blade, which actually might have finished it there. All right, going underneath the Nair. Right. I don't think Dexter sweet spotted once so far. Yeah. But yeah, the recovery is, although that one, that one looks like he was trying to um, catch ZD sleeping at the wheel a little bit. But so far, let's see if ZD can make a comeback happen because we've seen this scenario. Honestly, these two have played so much, we've seen literally every scenario that this game has to offer. So comebacks are always something that has to be in the back of each player's mind, no matter how big of a lead that they have. All right, was trying to read a roll or something, it seems. But ZD doesn't give it to him, just goes directly for the quick uh, regular getup. All right. Still putting on pressure despite being in uh, kill percent here. I love what Dexter went for there. The sour spot down tilt to tipper dash act. Didn't get the tipper, unfortunately. But another one where he's just not getting the tipper. Like, he has so many kill setups and that were so close in the last, like, two or three exchanges, but just not really finding the right spacing. This is, yeah, that's it. That. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, after that, like, you have to hold the jab. If there's no, or if there's a platform above you, um, it's actually a really good option for most characters. Mm -hmm. But Marth has a sword. Yep. So. Um, he doesn't even have to really commit too hard to get that punish. So that's going to be ZD down a game in this best of five losers, not losers finals, a loser semi set. Yeah, loser semis. All right, so FD is going to be the pick between these two players. All right, and FD definitely a pretty strong pick for, uh, for Fox. Hmm. All right. Thus far, Dexter's going to start racking up the damage again. All right, goes above the down tilt this time. Timing may have been right or may not have been, but it doesn't really matter if Fox is just going to sail right above you. And ZD is just catching rough breaks on every single exchange. He got, like, a double hit of Dancing Blade. He got a back hit of uh, Forest Mash. It's just not looking like his game right now. Yeah, it's not looking like his set.
Yeah. Well, let me um, like kind of Ooh! That. Yeah. I was about to say like that wasn't just bad luck from ZD. That was also a great play by Dexter. Yes. So, yeah. Like you can't take away how much work Dexter is putting in right now in this game. And ZD has a mountain to climb because he is liable to be down 2-0 in the best of five set, and that's not a position you want to be in because counter pick advantage is something that you just have to consider if you even if you even don't get 3-0. You know. Dexter giving up an air dodge, but no punish by ZD. All right, ZD managing to string things together, keep Dexter from landing, but now Dexter has his feet solidly back on the stage, trying to go for things, but ZD's going to win this neutral exchange, but then ends right back uh, without stage control. Manages to get right back through with the side B, but Dexter is now in control again. Down tilt is not going to catch him. All right. Tries to go jab, jab, up smash, not finding a smart. Definitely some signs of frustration coming through for ZD. That back air, though, is uh, still something that gets his foot in the door. But the forward air from Dexter, I love how he gets off the ledge. Uh, it's going to find the mark and um, give him more room to work with. All right, going to dance around, put it on pressure. But Dexter's just going to use the dancing blade to relieve some of that pressure. All right. right. Yeah, ZD has a lot of work to do if he wants to make this happen. I like the plays he's making, but Dexter's just playing so patient. That four smash off the ledge, finally. Dexter, or ZD had to trap him down so hard to make that play happen. So the odds of that happening again, you know. That's it. Yeah, that's just a rough position to be in. And ZD is going to be down 2-0 so far. Yeah, this looks absolutely exhausting. Honestly, every set between these two does. But, like, these guys, they play so often, and ZD's been in this position a lot. He's been in this position, I think, like, maybe two weeks ago, even. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, it doesn't matter how far ahead you are in stocks, in games, and, like, even lifetime set count. These two can always go either way. That is absolutely true. All right, and so thus far, just a bit of laser damage coming in. All right, now ZD is starting it up with a quick down throw fair. Going to catch the landing, but then we're going to reset right back to neutral where ZD is going to get quick jab damage and then more lasers. All right, trying to space out these nares and fares. Put on a bit of pressure. Runs in, goes for the grab, and ZD is going to immediately spot dodge that. Not going to get a huge punish from it, but he's still racking up this damage, and he's still in such a good position that even the smallest bits of damage still tacking it up. Yeah, now ZD is definitely turning on the afterburners, but Dexter, all he needs is one hit. Nice high recovery, though, by ZD, and now that could be the thing that gets him the stock. Gets punches landing and does it impeccably. The up smash is going to be the first time that he's been up a stock um, this set, if I remember right. Well, no, it's been relatively close at times, but, like, this is the biggest leap that he's had. And now ZD, he looked so flustered at the end of the last game, but this is exactly what I was talking about. Anything could happen between these two at any given time. All right. I like these run behind fares. That's the second time that uh, Dexter's been able to do that in order to regain stage control. Mm -hmm. And the up air, not quite killing just yet. And ZD has to come down with the button to find his way back in. And now that's the thing. If you keep on going for those run pass nares, you will just get grabbed. The hesitation will stop, and um, that's when things have to get a little bit more tricky. Ooh. Just like that, beautiful punish by Dexter, knowing exactly what he can and cannot do against this character. But ZD, here we go, classic Vortex. Dexter has to get through this if he wants to make it back into this game, but has to get trapped on the ledge yet again and wisely rolls out. Ooh, and sour spot up smash. Now that could give... Oh, but gets grabbed and thrown right back off stage. So Dexter, rem uh, ZD rem retains the advantage state here. Yeah, it's looking like ZD is remembering how to um, trap Marth down a little bit more. Because before, Dexter, it was just looked like a single-player game at times. But ZD throwing out a force smash and an up smash. He might be feeling himself a little bit too much. And Dexter, you know how it goes with this character, especially in the hands of a like, good player like him. All, all it takes is one taper. All right. Gets the dancing blade he needs. All right. Catches the side B coming in. Starts putting on a bit more pressure here. And that's exactly what ZD was afraid of. Now he's trapped on the ledge, eating so much damage. That Nair gets him out of dodge a little bit. All right. <laughs> this oh. could be it. 
Wow! 75% almost full rage on Marth, and that's gonna be a 3-0 from Z or 3-0 from Dexter. 